idea. Why, hello, Cal. What are you trying to do? Tear my office down? No. Just to nail up a picture of a he coyote. I wish I was a nailing it onto his ornery hide instead of there. Well, I wish that I was furnishing the 20 penny spike for the job. Oh, boy. Oh, Hello, Wade. Hello, Hello. Hello. How's everybody doing? Hey, you want to make $5,000, then? Oh, listen. Who do Look here. Oh. Now, I've been sheriff on the border for the last 20 years. And of all the cold-blooded customers, this search car and got anything beat ever to hit these parts. Now, all you've got to do is to get your hands on it. Well, I'll get my hands on it. Well, you're going to get your hands on it. Well, you're going to get your hands on it. Well, you're going to get your hands on it. Well, you're going to get your hands on it. Well, you're going to get your hands on it. Well, you're going to get your hands on it. Well, you're going to get your hands on it. Well, you're going to get your hands on it. Well, you Sounds kind of easy. I don't doubt, Cal, that, that Serge Karloff deserves all the lead you could give him. I don't want that kind of money. You catch him. That's your job, Cal. Yeah, I know. <laughs> and I'm just playing for the chance. You boys get those stairs all ordered? Every last one of them, Wade. Got a check ready? Come and get it. Auto. Hello, oh, Cal. Here's your money, boys. Ah, oh, thanks. That's what we like. You've worked hard enough to deserve it. In the meantime, take care of yourself. That's a lot of money for a couple of young scamps like you to have. Would be wait if we owned it all, but you see, we don't. We settle up with the bank. We'll have just about enough to buy a lot of beans and hardtack for the next round of. Mama. <laughs> right. Well, come on. Let's get on over there and settle up with the bank before old man Beal starts yelling his head off. Go on, Wade. Be good. Hey, what's the matter? What are you moping around about? Hey, you know, I suggest about you that five thousand right now. Yeah, I reckon you could. Talk to a lot of people. I can't hardly imagine you tangling up with that hombre, though. You better come along with us. We got plenty of business to do. Come on, let's get going. Hey, uh, I reckon I'll be leaving you here. You and July can tend to things at the bank. You're not coming with us, huh, kid? I'm riding to Andre's. Somebody expecting me down there. I see. I hope there ain't no female. She must be a humdinger, Bob. She sure is. Wait till you see her. <laughs> well, be careful. I always did hate trouble. Especially when it's wrapped up in a petticoat. Listen, you old horn toad, wasn't you ever in love at any time? Well, I, uh, I fell in something once. That's why I'm Brandon Steers instead of president of a railroad. Maybe. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> you look like something happened to you. Come on. Howdy, Judge. How are you today? No. No. I'm telling you to save the trouble of asking. I won't renew your note. This time, it's got to be paid. Every dollar. But, Judge, listen. If you I... give somebody else a chance to talk, you might hear something. Uh. 
can't say as I blame him much, Judge, but... Uh, no, you see, can't. Sure you can't. I've renewed it too many times already. Judge, this check ought to be enough to balance our accounts and probably leave us a couple of hundred over. <laughs> Sure, Danny. I always knew I could depend on you. You just endorse that. Sure, I will. And I'll go and get the notes and mark it safe. Well, Bob. Your shares must have brought a good price. A little better than 5000 Just got the money. Sure. Say, you want to help me plaster this skunk's picture roundabout? I'd like to, Cal, but I'm riding to Andre. Adios. You have spoiled my game. And if so, you will be very sorry. Pardon, Captain. We got to hurry. Young fellow coming across the border with five thousand dollars. Well, for five thousand dollars, I forgive you. Go on. A young fellow just on his cattle, headed for his jail. He's riding right behind me. If you fellows are looking for money, I'm afraid you're going to be disappointed. Mr. Man, Peter, I need more, right? Bring him along. Sit down, senor. Sit down. Thanks. Peter, the gentleman's boots, please. Wait a minute. I don't keep money in my boots. Oh, you don't mind if we look, senor? Go ahead. Thank you. No use, Captain. He must have a head in it somewhere. My friend, one hour ago you had $5,000. Where is it? Since you are so interested in other folks' money... Mm. Other folks' money is all I have, senor. Well, the money you were looking for has already been paid into the bank at Corrido. Into the bank, eh? Yeah. My partner took it there as soon as we got it. That was one bad mistake, senor. You think so? But your partner, he can take it out again, no? He might. But he won't. Oh, that is too bad. No, you are very young. You are a handsome caballero. It would be a pity if you should die. Write your friend. Tell him the money must be here before sundown. Tell him you never needed so much before, and you'll never need it so much again.
What's the trouble, Dan? Go give me this note, son. Sell it down the street. He made me swear to give it to you quick. Listen, he gave me a dollar, too. Come on, July. Damn! Yeah. Yeah. What's the matter? We gotta get that money back again, July. Bob's in trouble. It's that third car off. Come on. Excuse me, partner. Judge, I gotta borrow five thousand dollars. I gotta have it right now. Read that. Read it, Judge. Every minute counts. Do I get it? Danny Savage, I always knew you were a fool. It's just the likes of you that make it possible. Yes, I've got to have that money. I've got to have it. Well, you you won't get it. Not a cent of it. Get the sheriff. Organize a posse. And murder Bob, my pal? I can't do that, Jim. Well, I'm sorry. I can't do it. Get the horses, you like. Bring them around to the back. Bobby, bring them. Judge, I'm an honest man and you know it. I always pay my debt. Don't I? I've got to have that $5,000. A man's life hinges on it. I, I told you what to do. Get the sheriff. Organize a... Now, Danny Savage, don't you do anything you'll be sorry for. One lovely trick you show me. <laughs> it isn't bad. My pal thought of something. Your friend. He will come with the money, yes? Uh, I hope so. You know, I, I like you. I should hate to kill you. But people must know that when Captain Karloff says something, it comes to pass. Hey, Todd. See anything? Let me say, Captain. Oh, uh, tell it to me. I am in love, too. I like to see what you bring to your lady. So your girl is Carmelita. That's none of your business. You have the very bad misfortune to be in love with the same girl as Captain Carlos. Don't be a fool. Carmelita could never love a renegade like you. Maybe you do not know that women like men can be made to change their minds. Oh, you're crazy. Well, I have liked you. Now it's much different. If your friend come with the money, you shall be free. But I hope it shall not be so. Come down, senor. Good night.
I did the best I could, Bob. Sheriff, I think that Karloff yarn was a put-up job. And it wouldn't surprise me a bit, but what they were both members of that gang. And I'm warning you. It's all here, Judge. You didn't have a chance to use it. All right, Cal, we're ready. Well, Judge, everything turned out all right, didn't it? You hold a warrant for the rest of these men, and I demand that you do your duty. I hate to do it, boys. I'd have done the same thing myself. But the law is the law. Got to lock you up, ma'am. But there ain't a jury in this county that'll convict you. What you in for, fellas? Bank busting. Well, that's fine. That's what I claim banks is for. Well? Sure, partner. Come over here. Don't let them get you down. There's more than one way of getting out of this poop. Now listen, did you ever hear of Serge Karloff? Sure. What's that you said, partner? Well, I was just about to tell you, part, you two are lucky to get in jail today instead of tomorrow. Why is that? What do you mean? The chief's taking me out of here tonight. And maybe when he finds that you're a couple of bank workers, he'll take you along. You say his name's Serge Karloff? You said it, mister. I'm a Karloff man. Take a look at that. You'll find that brand on every man that rides for Captain Serge Karloff. Mighty glad to know you, partner. Mighty glad. Well, thanks. Glad to know you. You warned the sheriff? Yes, Captain. He's got every man in the place with him, and he's waiting for you on the other side of town. That's good. You're right, and whatever happens, keep riding. All right, Captain. Come on, boys. You sure they were ahead of this way, Ted? That's the word I got, Cal. Well, what do you want to come up? Be quiet back there, man.
All right, man. Let's go. Here I am, Captain. Open. Hello, Dover. Hi. Come on. Wait a minute, Captain. Take them to us. Uh, they held up the bank today and had a little bad luck. Hmm. One cannot have too many friends of the right kind. Let them out, Senor Chira. Thanks, Captain. Your name, gentlemen? My name is uh, Black. Uh, Ed Black. And this is uh, my pal, Taken. You will not forget what Captain Karloff has done, no? Captain, I promise. I won't ever forget it. Good. Give me those keys. Come on. Please, step in jail, senor. Captain, I'll let you go, will you please? Thanks. I'd kind of like to lock a jailer up for a change. Come on, man. I reckon I'd better get mine, too. Here's your gun. Ed? Thanks, take it. If Daniel Black wishes, you can come with us to Andretta. Life is gay there. Well, that's fine, Captain. I was hoping you'd ask it. Our horses are out in the sheriff's corral. Come on, we'll get them. Come on, man. Come on, take it. This is the boundary, boys. We can't go across. We might just as well go back. All right, gentlemen. Let's go. All right. Come on, let's go. Thank you. 
Isn't she wonderful? Yeah, she is. Come on. We'll meet her. Charming, senorita. Charming. Well, Come with me to present my friend, senor Black. Senorita Carmelita. Mm -hmm. May we sit down, senorita? Of course, senor. Thank you. The name of Senor Black is new to me, but the face is old, Senor. Well, what do you mean, Miss? <laughs> I mean, it is not new to me. I have known you before. Well, I, I think you're mistaken, Miss. Am I not the lucky one? Senorita Carmelita is Captain Carlos' girl. Oh, yes, Carmelita is nobody's girl, senor. Do not fall in love with Carmelita, senor. It is dangerous. You will excuse me, gentlemen? Certainly. Come on, buy old Hardy's What you say, big boy? Buy old Hardy's Well, in the first place, I ain't got no money. In the second place, All I... right. If you will buy old Hardy's drink, old Hardy will buy big boy's drink. What do you say? Well, that's better. Oh, <laughs> what is that? This is Senor Black. We have the honor of being served by Senor Zapata, who not only owns this charming paradise, but is the uncle of the exquisite. Well, that's fine. Gracias. Now, watch closely, my friend. Who taught you that trick? The trick he was shown me by one fine caballero. And then I had to kill him. But you had to kill him, huh? Mm. Yes, senor. It was this. I see. You wish to try him, senor? Yes. Try it. Oh, right. you got it. Oh, well, oh, you are one smart man, Senor Black. You should belong to Captain Carlos. I like nothing better. If you wish it, it is done. Hey, you, Spot. Bring me the candle. A little test of courage is needed to join Captain Carlo. You do not mind, senor? No, go ahead. Open your shirt. You are a brave man, senor. I like you. Now you belong to Captain Carlo. You will always remember, eh? Always. That's fine. And you. You have the good luck to become a Karloff man just because you're a friend of Senor Black. Open your shirt. So, 
holes in your stand. You have become one very bad bandit. Since you know me, Senorita, I'd like to have a word with you in private. We better get out of here quick. I'm staying. That's what a man by the name of Samson said. And all he got was a haircut. Oh, 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 don't worry about that. Go on over and have a good time. I'll be back. Now, go ahead. Why are you here, Senor? Is it true you have become a bandit? It looks that way, don't it? Your friend Bob told me you won very fine man. It will hurt him to learn you are only the common rogue. Did you know Bob? I'm sure I know him. He's one nice boy. He's dead. Oh. Uh, uh, Senor Black, where is he? Oh, uh... Oh, <laughs> excuse me. <laughs> hey, come on here. Small drink for everybody. Hurry up, now. Get back in there, will you? He's yelling his head off. I just told him the darndest lie. Go on out front. I'll be with you in a minute. Ha, <laughs> my friend. Uh, nine. Ten time I drink your health. Uh, and you're not here. <laughs> we'll make it twelve time. Right? Wait a minute. I have a little personal business I want to attend to. I'll see you in the morning, huh? Good. But, but remember, no more bank jobs without Captain Carlos. I promise you, Captain. Every move I make from now on, you be with me. That's fine. All right? All right. Adios. 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 Senor Black, you're Carita. Come on. Just a minute. Maybe you won't. Maybe you will. But don't blame me. We land in jail again. I'm not. You just stay here and watch the horses. What's up? Sorry, Cal. But I've got to talk to you. I can't risk going back to your jail. You put that gun away, Dan Savage. Talk your fool head off. Come on inside. All right. Well, that's just fine if it works. But I doubt it. Why, I wouldn't give a nickel for your life or July's either. Well, I'll take all the risk, Cal. Don't worry about it. Come on, you guys. Here they come now, Captain. Hi, Red. Hi, boys. Hello, Red. Hello, Red. You send for me, Chief? Now, listen closely, my friend. Today is payday as the San Vincente Rancho. The money is about $1,000. It will be on the Carrado estate. Now, somewhere between Carrado and the ranch, you take the money. Do I... you understand, my friend? Uh, yes, yeah, sure, Chief. Ain't you riding with us? Captain Carlos, do not ride for trifles. Besides, my friend, I like you. I want to give you a chance to prove you are a good Karloff man. Thanks, Chief. 
Don't mention it, my friend. Take the men you want to help. They're all good men. Well, I'll take Carver. Spud, you preacher. And take us here. That's all I want. That's all? Why, sure. I figure the fewer of the men, the faster we can ride, huh? When do we start? Now, senor. And remember, too much time is better than too little. That's right. <laughs> well, come on, men, let's ride. Look at here, Dan Chavez. I ain't going to help you nor nobody else hold up no... What? Get over the Shut up. Bite. I think my horse got a rock this one. It's been limping on me. Put him up. Reach for it, boys. Do it quick. No monkey business now. Take your guns away from him, July. Well, what's the matter? Like, are you joking? I'll tie him up. Hurry it up. What the? Listen, gun I got in my right hand belonged to my pal. His name was Bob Reed. What? You know, I didn't have nothing to do with that killing. I was in jail. Ah, uh, that's the only reason you wasn't in on it. You're going to suffer the same consequence as the rest of them. Come on back, preacher. You can't get away with that. Come on in. Hurry it up a little. I'll tie him up, you like. You winged him for it, didn't you? That's all I wanted to do. Keeping's too good for any of them. So hang him. I reckon that's the best we can do. All right. We'll get him out of Dodge, Eli. Keep him covered. Take it away. All right, pull him back up, Eli. Come on, boys. Come on. No use waiting any longer, Captain. Something sure happened. At four o'clock we will go. the money, my friend. They never even seen the safe, Captain. They met a posse south of Corrado. Twenty men. Seemed like they know what it was all about. I was waiting for them. It was a regular masquerade, Captain. Full preacher. Spot. Top. Nipped off my saddles just like blackbird. Please, hey, senor. Talk too much with your mouth. Three men killed and no money. That has never happened before. Wouldn't have happened this time, I don't think, Captain, if you'd been with us. Give me something for for relaxing, son. Yes. I need it. Doing them bandits. Hello, big boy. Get away from me. Oh, how can I? When I love everything about you. Even your nasty disposition. Say nothing of your bow legs. Three of my good men killed. Only you and Peckle escape. This must be fate. I reckon you're right, Captain. 
his table. Dance for Captain Carlos, Senorita. I feel sad. I dance for everyone, Senor. Halle. Sure we can, Miss Carmelita. He is hot at that. Why do you say so at Carmelita? You have seen me before. No? I didn't know I was staring at you, Miss Carmelita. Just had my mind on something, I guess. Oh, senor. You think too much and say too little. Well, sometimes it's a good thing not to talk too much, you know. We are alone, senor. Yeah, I know. That's just the trouble. We are alone. Maybe Carmelita knows what you think. Well, you're going to go ahead and read my mind. It's your own fault. I have to read your mind if you will not speak. Can't you read mine? Well, Miss Carmelita, I think mind reading is kind of out of my line. Then I will tell you. Me gusta ría que ni hiciera el amor como usted silva. Yeah, I know, but I still don't understand it. I'm not up on my Spanish, I guess. It means if you could make love like you whistle. Oh, that's what it means, huh? Maybe I had better brush up on my Spanish. No, no, no. I think you better stick to your whistling. Hey, Miss Carmelita! <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 if you give me leave to say so, I think it is better than we're pulling out of here right now. And you, Mac, do you think Captain Carlos should take to his heels just because seven men were killed? I ain't never been accused of being yellow, but in three weeks we lose seven men, just like the earth opened and swallowed them. 
My enemy is a man, not a God. Senor Black, all my trouble began with you. Maybe you could give Captain Carlos some good advice for oh, all the bad luck you called me. Well, yes, Captain. Kind of looks like some unknown man hates you. Just trying to get even with you, maybe. Seems like that he intends to remain unknown, too. No, Senor. It is a question of a day. Maybe an hour. And Captain Carlos will know. You know the better. You know, senor, I had a dream about you last night. Oh, well, you did, huh? In my dream, you were my enemy. Gee, that's interesting. What did you do? Do? Why, uh, I shot you, senor. I put your back against the patio wall in the cantina. <laughs> oh, I will remember your face when my bullet strikes you. Hmm. What a dream. I'm glad it was only a dream. Listen, all this talk about seven dead men and all these nightmares makes me plumb thirsty. Come on, Ed. All right. Hello. No, no. Listen, I thought we were going to Corrado. You are. You will not, senor. You get the Corrado just as quick as you can. Get a hold of Cal Webster. Tom to his men are hiding the rocks on his side of the line. Carl off his whole battle come across to you here. Well, that old devil's too suspicious across that line now. Listen, he's going to run me across that line. And meaning what? But at just exactly four o'clock, I'm going to tell Carl off what happened to his seven men. You hear? Well, if you do, you'll cross a line. It won't be on this earth either. I get four party, will you? Come on. Well, goodbye. This is the first time I ever officiated at a suicide. <laughs> Don't worry. Thanks, Miss Carmelita. Please, Dan. Why don't you go away? I can't just yet. They stop at the cantina, Captain. It looks like they were going to get liquored up. Now there's your gun. Your horse is outside. Now listen. My advice to you is to stay out of trouble. And stay out of Corrado. All right, Sheriff. together, Cal. Tim's leading the whole damn shooting match across the border at four. He is, eh? Ted, 
You get on my phone. Tell the boys to meet us here. All right, July. Take care of things, Hog. Yeah. Soon, Carlos must learn the truth of his missing men. Oh, no. Give us a drink. He's going to learn the truth now. Goodbye, Carlos. I hope to see you tonight. Glad. Will you join me, senor? No, thanks, Captain. Can I have a word with you alone? Why, well, sure. Why not? Maybe you want to tell Captain Karloff a secret, no? Maybe. Fine. Well, what is it, my friend? It's a secret, Captain. Did you... Captain, I gotta see you quick. Well, that's foolishness. Go on, my friend. Why, well, I just wanted to tell you, Captain, what become of the seven men? That's all. Up with them. Come on. You don't have to tell me. I found out for myself. Well, my friend, my dream has come true. You have just seven minutes to live. One minute for each of my seven men. But I am merciful. I'm an excellent shot. I shall aim at the mark of Carlos. <laughs> <laughs> Fine, Captain. Please, please, Capitan. You will not kill him in my place. Oh, no, senor. The dream must be fulfilled. He shall die in the patio. Gracias. Gracias, Capitan. Gracias. Captain. Yes? Carmelita would like to see you. Oh, in a moment, madam. Ah. Carmelita wants to see you in her room. Now. Oh. <laughs> you do not mind living a few minutes more, my friend. Captain Karloff is going to visit the charming Carmelita. And to see our friend, Senor. So <laughs> <laughs> you really guys thought you'd get away with something, eh? Come in. Hey, Max, release Senor Black. I made a mistake. Let him go. Well, are you deaf? Let him go. Okay, Captain. Yeah. Put him up. All right. Hide down behind that bush. The rest of you boys, come with me.
find some of your friends already in there waiting for you. Well, the circuit court meets next week, and I reckon we're going to have just about the biggest hanging bee ever seen in Arizona. So just rest easy, men. Come on, Jeff. We caught the whole gang, but Carlos got away, and he's downstairs now. We've got to get him, Carlos. Oh, no, please, don't go down there, Don't worry, Dad. I'll be all right. Don't follow me, either. Stay here. Are you all right, son? I'm all right, Julie. Well, I thank you. Oh, Dad, Dad, get away, you. Get away, Dad. Oh, Dad, what did they do to you? Oh, I'm all right. I'm just going to allow you. Dad, take over the hour and the Okay, okay. Dad, Dad. I'm all right, John. Are you finished? Get up out of it. Give me something powerful, relaxing. We did, Julie. We did. My hero. Thank <laughs> you. 